And happening tomorrow, San Antonio City Council members will vote on whether Governor Greg Abbott should call for a special session on gun control. The resolution proposed by Mayor Ron Nuremberg comes in the wake of the recent mass shootings in Dayton, Ohio and El Paso. Devin Clark has a preview on the changes the mayor is hoping for and tells us what a local firearms expert has to say about all of it. Uh, it's become clear that uh, it's an untenable uh, epidemic for our country. After dozens were left dead and even more injured in recent mass shootings, local politicians and firearms experts agree something must be done to stop the cycle of tragedy. I personally support common sense gun legislation uh, and uh, specifically one of the items on the resolution is in addressing universal background checks. Part of the resolution drafted by the mayor's office mentions the mass shooting at the First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs, which left 26 people dead and wounded 20 others back in 2017. And how back then, Governor Abbott proposed red flag laws, which he said could have prevented firearms from making it into the wrong hands. However, after some pushback, the proposal didn't pass. Nirenberg now hoping the governor revisits the issue in a special session. That the best legislation, the biggest actions on gun violence in our communities can come from the state and federal governments. And we've talked about different things that could help uh, in, in the short term and even in the long term. Johnny Castro, who manages Nardis Gun Club is a certified Department of Public Safety firearms instructor specializing in training for active shooter events and strongly supports universal background checks. A lot of it is sharing information with other agencies or agencies also being able to share information with us at the level of ATF, uh, our background uh, uh, data. Both Castro and the mayor agree responsible law-abiding citizens should maintain their right to bear arms. Common sense laws. And city council will be voting on that resolution at its meeting tomorrow morning. Even if it passes, which the mayor believes it will, it'll still be up to the governor to decide when and if he'll call for that special session. In the newsroom, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.